I'm obviously here to talk about Creed 3, but not really anymore. <laughs> so, uh, like, it all changed. So, um, what is the name of your dog? This is Coltrane. And how long? How old is Coltrane? He's five. Uh, rescue? How do rescue. You, um, Full rescue. Yeah. Um, so, is this like, are you guys inseparable? Yeah, we, we go a lot of places together. And we just got back from the press store and he couldn't come. So that's why I was like, you're coming to work today because I'm not leaving you. He actually, he spent some time on the Creed 3 set. So he is, and he has been in a film. He He's sorely disappointed that I didn't put him in this one. He's like, I'm a Nepo baby. Why? Which? Why? <laughs> which film did he get it? He, I made a film with Steve Buscemi, which that's how you say it, not Buscemi. It blew my mind when I learned that a year ago. And he is in the film. Is he dreading sitting there or is he super happy? No, he's super happy. He's just relaxed. Um, yeah. I First of all, everything about this is amazing. And second of all, I I wish I could have a dog. We have cats because of my schedule. Do you, so do you, do you get, do you can bring him to, to like sets and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's been on the Westworld set. He's He's been around. He's, a, he's like a seasoned set dog guy. I was going to say, I think you need to work it in your contract. Got the dog. <laughs> in my rider. Yeah, exactly. That uh, he walks by in certain In my scenes, wolfer. You know? Um, um, yeah. And, and now he's like, I don't know if I want to stay here. Yeah. Well, he, yeah. I mean, he he's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. So now I'll ask you maybe a question or two. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh. His breath smells so bad. <laughs> I love him so much. So I keep him. Oh, so obviously this is Michael's first time directing a movie. Yeah. And I'm just curious what surprised you. And he's out. See ya. What wasn't about him. He was done. <laughs> um, what actually surprised you about working with Michael as a director that um, perhaps you weren't expecting? Mm. I wasn't. He cares so much about clothes. He's very meticulous about what characters are wearing. And that hasn't always been the case. Often when I work with male directors, they, they're like, I don't know, just wear a shoe. And he's like, no, but what kind of shoe? That surprised me. <laughs> what did not surprise me is how he's such an incredible leader and such a lovely, I mean, he really bolsters the spirit of camaraderie and collaboration. And, and he, you know, he makes everyone happy when he comes to set, which I knew that he, he's always done that as an actor, but when you're balancing the challenges of being a director, I didn't know if, you know, if he could manage to still bring that kind of energy and attention to everybody. And he did. Well, um, oftentimes people like to, they talk about making a sequel or a prequel to whatever it may be. Uh, this is the third Creed movie. This is a treequel? Right, exactly. Threequel. Uh, I think it's, th I think it's a, <laughs> a threequel. Uh, but anyway, um, <laughs> when did you realize, what is it like actually being part of a franchise like this that's not Marvel and yeah. that, that resonates with so many people? You know, I think I realized pretty early in the sense that it was even before I... I mean, I had seen the film Creed One, but I think we went to Philadelphia for a press run, and we went to like the iconic stairs where the Rocky statue is, and there were so many fans there. But the thing that surprised me is they were so intergenerational. You know, there were such there were young fans. There were, I mean, it, and such a cross section of people, um, which makes sense because Ryan Coogler himself was such a fan of the Rocky franchise and meant so much to him and his family. And so I guess I I was initially surprised by what the fan base looked like and how enduring the, the the series had been. And so I think that we were borrowing from that, that we were doing something inside of that world, but also speaking to a whole new generation. I think realizing that and that it potentially, you know, could mean something to a lot of people because of that. I think that was the thing that was really remarkable to realize. 